Hi, my name is Tom and today I want to review another soft diffusion filter. This time it's a very cheap one from DHD Digital that I found online. And we're also going to compare it to the soft effects line from Tiffin, which I already made a video about and see how they compare. But first, here's some footage from this filter. Okay, so as always, I want to make sure that you all know what these filters are about and what their purpose is. Um, for a more detailed explanation, I suggest watching my Black Promise review where I go more into detail why diffusion filters play an essential part to making your movie look like an actual movie, at least in my opinion. Um, the video has almost 8000 views at this point, so thank you for that. So if you want to know more about the general types of use cases for these filters and why they are important in my opinion then watch this video. The short explanation is that all these filters try to give you a more cinematic look by softening highlights or giving everything a more misty feel. Uh, some filters have a very noticeable effect, others are way more subtle about it. This filter I'm talking about today is definitely not subtle and very very noticeable. So I will go more into detail on that later. But first, what do you get with this filter when you order it online compared to the more expensive Tiffin ones? Basically, it's the exact same thing. You get a small plastic box which holds the filter. There's some foam in there or paper to protect it, but that's about it. So not a huge difference. The packaging is a bit more flimsy, I guess. The box is a bit more soft. The plastic is less high quality, I guess. But in general, there's not a huge difference in packaging. Keep in mind there seem to be multiple Chinese brands who sell this filter online so depending on where you get it from like AliExpress for example has multiple versions of this where it's pretty much always the same filter but uh, you get different branding or uh, different packaging slightly different colors on the packaging but other than that the filter is pretty much the same I'm pretty sure because uh, it's always the same pictures being used always the same model that looks up the sky so it's the same filter just different brandings and sometimes slightly different packaging looking at the filter itself when you hold it in your hands it looks pretty much the exact same as the soft effects um, the glass itself has this drenched in liquid oil kind of look uh, everything is blurry when you look through it um, it does feel a bit lighter however and yeah i don't know if the glass itself is thinner maybe it's not even glass i don't know but yeah this is where they differ a bit so the tiffin one feels a bit higher quality but that's to be expected because it's way more expensive now how does this filter actually affect your picture as you probably already saw from the intro this filter is strong like very very strong it reduces sharpness quite a lot, gives you lots of halation and yeah, I did not expect it to be this strong, uh, especially since this is the only version you can get, like there's no softener 1, 2 or 3 like on the soft effects, you, this is the only version you can get, depending on what brand you choose, it always says soft diffuser, there's no number attached to it, this is it. So yeah, it's pretty extreme. This filter is kind of the opposite of the black diffusion filter that I reviewed in my last video 
which was more about uh, softening very very fine detail and not being very noticeable in its effect, this filter is the complete opposite. It actually reduces sharpness even more than my Soft Effects 3 which is already considered a very strong density and it does seem to have less halation though than the Soft Effects. So that leads me to believe that this filter just doesn't use very high quality glass and that's why the halation is less and the sharpness is less uh, because it's just not as high quality which makes sense because the price is like very cheap. So yeah it's definitely a very intense striking noticeable look which can be cool though still um, it kind of reminds me of these old European fantasy fairy tale movies from the 70s 80s that I used to watch on TV as a kid so yeah I kind of like it but that brings me to the stuff that I don't like about this filter this is obviously way too strong of an effect for most use cases and that's coming from a guy who likes his diffusion filters to be a bit more extreme, a bit more noticeable. But in this case, it's too much even for me. So yeah, I wish they just had a lower version uh, of this filter with uh, less of an extreme effect. But that would probably also mean that they would use uh, higher quality glass, which would make this filter more expensive. So yeah, it's kind of a shame because if they had a version that would be a bit sharper, then this would be a great alternative. But in this case, this is just too much for like general types of use cases. This is a filter that you can really only use if you really want a very strong and noticeable effect on your picture. So in conclusion, yes, the Tiffin Soft Effects line is definitely the better option. You get way more densities to choose from and even at stronger densities, the sharpness gets retained much better. But uh, if you just want a cool effect filter for like dream sequences or experimental short films, why not look at this filter and buy it because it's so cheap. Um, a Soft Effects 3 or 4 is still a very extreme effect even if it retains sharpness a bit better but you still have lots of halation and everything will not look very realistic. So at that point why care about sharpness if it's just for a dream sequence in a film or some experimental music video. So this is my verdict basically. It's a filter that you can buy for that kind of stuff and you can't really go wrong with it because it's so cheap. Just try it out, see if you uh, uh, have use, something useful uh, for it because there always might be some project where you want this kind of look and yeah this is definitely a great option for that because it's very very cheap. So just buy it, why not? And that's basically it for this review. Um, I hope this was interesting for you, it was definitely interesting for me. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel because I will do more of these videos and during this pandemic that's still ongoing, I don't have that much to do otherwise anyway. So just come along, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment if you have a question and yeah, see you next time. Bye.